Hello grade 9 learners and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video lesson, so I will be continuing our video series on graphing quadratic functions wherein I already discussed graphing f of x equals to x squared and also we continue that graphing f of x equals to x squared plus k. So nag-add tayo doon ng k wherein it is any constants, either positive or negative. So, it can be shifted upward or downward. So, for now, we will be graphing the quadratic function given f of x equals to the quantity x minus h squared, wherein h is any uh, integers. Yeah. So, we're in... We're going to use f of x equals to x squared as our basis so that we can make a necessary conclusion or we can describe the graph of x, the quantity of x minus 4 squared. And then we're going to graph it on the same axis. So we're going to use a Cartesian plane. Okay, so we will be starting getting the y values. So just substitute. So, alam na natin kapag x squared, so negative 2 squared is 4. E squared lang natin to 1, 0, and then 1 squared is 1, and then 2 squared is 4. So, we're in 0, 0 is our vertex. So, when we graph it, so ulitin lang natin yung graph natin. So, this will be 0, 0, and then negative 2, 4. And then this is negative 1, 1. Then 1, 1. And then 2, 4. Again, my drawing is not that perfect, but it shows the graph of x squared. So, suppose that it is, it should be symmetrical, no? Dapat ay symmetrical yan. Or, there is an image. So, itong dalawang to ay symmetrical. So, that will be the graph of x squared. Now, so let us get the values of each given. So, bakit hindi same yung given ng values of x ko? Bakit 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Para magkaroon tayo ng same values and we can make conclusions out of that. Halimbawa, if the values of x is 2, kapag sinabstitute natin dito, so that is 2 minus 4 is 2, then squared is 4. And then 3, 3 minus 4 is 1, squared is Negative 1 squared is 1. Then 4 minus 4 is 0. Squared is 0. Then 5 minus 4 is 1 squared is 1. Then 6 minus 4 is 2 squared is 4. Okay, so one observation is that f of x is equal to g of x. Kung mapapansin nyo, pareha siya ng values. Ano ba pansin nyo? Negative 2, 2. Negative 1, 3. 0, 4, 1, 5, 2, 4. That is increased by increased by 4. So, kapag in-increase natin yung values ng x by 4, so we will get the same values of y. So, mapapansin nyo ay pare-pares yung values ng y nila. At eto yung ating vertex. Okay? And then, let us uh, plot each points of the given uh, quadratic function. So, 2, 4. So, where is 2, 4? So, 2. So, this is 2, 4. And then, we have here 3, 1. So, we have here 3, 1. And then, you have here 4, 0 on the x-axis. And then, you have here 5, 1. And then, you have here 6, 4. And then, let us connect the points. Alright. Okay. 
Yan. So, this is the graph of f of x equals to x squared. And this will be the graph of f of x equals, sorry, that is g of x, x minus 4 squared. So, note that the axis of symmetry for the graph of g of x equals to the quantity x minus 4 squared is also shifted four units to the right. From this point, so ito yung uh, vertex, so nag-shift siya ng four units to the right. So, it's one, two, three, four. And then, it is the line x equals to four. Yan. So, ito yun. X equals to four. Ayan. So, thus, the graph of... So, we can conclude that the graph... Lagyan natin dito yung ating conclusion. That the graph of... G of X equals to the quantity X minus 4 squared is the graph of f of x equals to x squared shifted 4 units to the right. So, from our examples given, so we can make a mathematical concept up to, out of that. So, the graph of f of x equals to x minus h squared has the same shape as the graph of y equals to x squared. So, kita nyo naman yung opening and then the parabola. If h is positive, remember, if h is positive, the graph of f of x equals to x minus h squared is the graph of y equals to x squared shifted h units to the right. Remember, remember that? And if h is negative, the graph of f of x equals to h minus x minus h squared is the graph of y equals to x squared shifted h units to the left. Then the vertex of the graph is h0 and its axis of symmetry is the vertical line x equals to h. So, remember this mathematical concept for you to be able to graph a quadratic function in the form the quantity of x minus h squared. So, para mas maintindihan natin yung mathematical concept na binigay ko kanina, baka kasi makonfuse kayo whether the value of h is positive or negative para alam kung siya ay uh, shifted how many units to the left or how many units to the right, ay magbibigay ako dito ng example. Of course, we're going to use f of x equals x squared as our uh, reference because dito tayo magka-count ng ilang units to the left or to the right. For in ang given natin dito ay g of x equals to x plus 3 squared. So, baka sabihin nyo na ang values of h natin ay positive but it is negative. So, since pag nakita nyo positive 3, kabalik tara nun yung values ng h, it will become negative 3. Because, ito yung ating format na x minus h squared can be written because this quadratic function can be written as g of x equals to x minus negative 3 squared. So, that's why ang value ng h natin ay negative 3. Kasi yung kaninang example natin na g of x x minus 4 squared it can be written as x minus positive 4 squared. So, positive yung ating h kapag positive i, mag-shift tayo ng 4 units to the right. So, again, we are going to shift 4 units to the right. And then, ito naman ay negative. So, we need to shift 3 units to the left from the vertex. So, ito yung ating vertex, 0, 0. So, therefore, 
1, 2, 3. So, ang vertex ng graph natin ay negative 3, 0. Kasi dito kanina, di ba, ang ating vertex ay 4, 0. Ito yung ating vertex at yung kanyang axis of symmetry ay x equals to positive 4. So, therefore, ang axis of symmetry ay x equals to negative 3. Again, huwag makoconfuse kapag ang given ay positive x plus 3, so ang h nyo ay negative. Kapag naman negative yung given nyo, halimbawa x minus 4, ang h nyo ay positive. So, yun yung kaibahan. So, huwag kayo maliliti doon. And then, since ang given natin ay, ang h natin ay negative, so we need to shift 3 units to the to the left. So, eto. And then, gagamitin natin itong points na to. We're going to shift 3 units to the left. So, you have here 1, 2, 3. Right? Dito tayo nag-start. So, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3. And then, dito naman sa point na to, mag-shift tayo na 3 units. 1, 2, 3. Okay? And then, from this point, mag-shift tayo na 3 units. So, you have here 1, 2, 3. So, ito rin point na to. And then, again, 1, 2, 3. So, dito tayo sa point na to. And then from this point, so you have here 1, 2, 3. So, ito tayo. And then we are going to connect the points. Ayan. Ayan. So, ito yung pinaka-axis of symmetry natin. Ayan. So, ito yung ating axis of symmetry. So, this will be the graph. The graph. Natin na dito. So, this will be the graph of g of x equals to x plus 3 squared. So, ngayon ay ginamit lang natin yung concept ng graphing x minus h squared. And then, napag-alaman natin that the values of h is negative 3. So, we need to shift 3 units to the left from, the give, from all the points given from f of x equals to x squared as our reference graph. So, from all the points given, nag-shift lang tayo lahat ng points to the left para mapakita yung graph ng x plus 3 squared. And then, sinabi natin that the values of h is negative 3 because it can be written as g of x equals to the quantity of x minus negative 3 squared. So, therefore, we need to shift 3 units to the left based on the mathematical concept given kapag ang h ay negative to the left. So, therefore, iti-check lang natin kung tama lahat yung ordered pairs so that we can say that yung ginawa natin ay uh, proven correct. So, therefore, so, ito yung ating first point. So, you have here negative 1, 4. And then, you have here negative 2, 1. Yung ating vertex na negative 3, 0. And then, you have here negative 4, 1. And last but not the least, negative 5, 4. Okay, so let us check one by one. So, negative 1, 4. So, if x is negative 1, substitute negative 1 plus 3 is 2 squared is 4. So, you have here negative 1, 4. Check. And then, if your x is negative 2, plus 3. So, negative 2 plus 3 is positive 1 squared is 1. So, this is also correct. So, our vertex is probably correct. So, negative 3 plus 3 is 0. Squared is 0. And then, you have here your x is negative 4. So, negative 4 plus 3 is negative 1 squared is positive 1. And then, last but not the least. So, if your x is negative 5 plus 4 So, you have here negative 5 plus 3, rather. So, negative 5 plus 3 is negative 2 squared is positive 4. 
So, meaning to say that our answer is correct. So, remember lang yung ating mathematical concept given. So, I hope that you learned something today about graphing quadratic functions in the form f of x equals to the quantity x minus h squared. Don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson.